Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome back to another Ramshard Minecraft server tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be covering how to easily use the whitelist feature on your Minecraft server. Now, there are a couple of useful features with the whitelist. The first feature is you can make it where only you and your friends can join your server. And the second is you can easily keep people out that you don't want joining in your server interrupting your gameplay. Now, using the whitelist is very, very simple. The first thing you want to do is head over to your control panel and then click on where it says console. Alright, now in the console you want to type whitelist on. This will enable the whitelist and no one will be able to join the server until you add their name to the whitelist. Now you can actually turn the whitelist on by doing it in game with slash whitelist on, but note you do need op to do these commands. So if you do not know how to give yourself op on your Minecraft server, click in the top right on the i card on how to op yourself on your Minecraft server. Now once the whitelist is on, you can go on and do whitelist add username. So I'm going to do whitelist add ramshard. This will make it so where ramshard can join my Minecraft server with the whitelist on. But if I want to later remove ramshard from joining my Minecraft server, I do whitelist remove ramshard. That makes it to where ramshard cannot join my Minecraft server anymore. Now after you add all the players you want to your whitelist, there's no need to restart your server or anything. These changes take effect in real time. And also note for cracked Minecraft servers, these are servers that run in offline mode. You cannot actually use the default whitelist, which is unfortunate, but if you run a spigot or paper server, there are plugins made that you can easily use to allow cracked clients to be whitelisted. Or you can find like an IP whitelist plugin. So if you're not sure about those plugins for it, we can always guide you on our live chat, so feel free to send us a message there. Now that is how you easily use the whitelist feature on your Minecraft server. And if you have any further questions at all about how to use the whitelist feature or what it is overall, feel free to contact us on our live chat or even submit a support ticket.